another day, another Volkswagen problem? I think so. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, I completely annihilated my fender liner and it's 100% my fault because I was lazy and I didn't put in the splash guard, which means I didn't screw any of that connecting pieces together here or over there in the middle where it gets held together. And I drove with no bumper and the wind blew the fender liner into the tire and melted it, then ripped it off. It's not as bad as on the other side as it is on this side, but nonetheless, we're gonna be replacing it. The fender liner comes in two parts. The top section here, that goes from like right here all the way over, and then there's a small section that you can replace. I just got that because you know, I didn't wanna spend all the money and I don't really have any money. But hey, if you guys wanna help me out, help me out down below by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I also have a donation option. Appreciate it, let's get right into it. To make it a little easier for you guys and a little bit more accessible, instead of removing the wheel, which is a way to do it, I'm just way too lazy. Easier to jack up the car, the spec, uh, suspension, excuse me, decompresses, and you can basically see all the mounting points and what we're working with. The lower section is already gone, so basically what you need to do is locate the Torx 30 that's right there, unscrew it if it's still there, Everything else, all the other hardware is already gone, so we're basically just gonna be putting the other part right on top. And then you can basically just slide this into place, make sure all the holes line up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but essentially you just slide it in there, line all the holes up and start screwing the hardware back in. Now the top section's still a little messed up, but what my main concern is all the wires that are right here. I don't want water or the tire to get to them, because if it gets to the tire, it's completely gonna melt it off and rip out my fog light and aftermarket headlight wires, which I don't want. I already tried to secure them with zip ties. So I just really want this part protected. Um, water is really not gonna get up here for the most part, as long as I'm careful. And yeah, I mean, eh, it'll do. Once you got it into place like so, for the most part, it's easiest to do these Torx 30 or T25, whatever over here first, just so you can get it to line up at the top and then you can basically just move everything else back into place and you're good what to go. I can see here, there's realistically only one, two, and all the way in the back, three Torx 30s holding the lower fender liner in place. There's supposed to be another one here, but as you can see, that section's missing. And I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be good. Just gotta make sure I don't send it through any big puddles. And if I do, go really slow so I don't get water all the way up here. But for the most part, like, this is the splash zone and everything is good. Even if you come under here, it's all covered. I just gotta put the splash guard over there. But yeah, good to go on this side. Now you basically repeat the process on the other side, but I'll have to turn the wheel again. But hey, I think this is a lot easier doing it like this with a jack, especially if your car is lowered. If it's not lowered, you probably won't even need to take the tire off. Hopping right over to the passenger side. This is not nearly as bad. The lower fender liner is still there as opposed to on the other side where it was gone. But this section is still all blown out. So I definitely need to, it, I could save it. I mean, I could screw in the two, the, I think there's two, two Torx 30s down here and then put some hardware up there and secure it and it won't rub again, maybe probably put some hardware there keep it in place but still there'll be a big hole here and I really don't want debris and whatnot hitting the fog lights or fog light wires or any anything else so let's just swap it out I, I paid for it what am I gonna do return it second thought I don't even need to jack the car up I got enough room to put my arm in there and get to the Torx 30 there that I need to and this is very accessible one Torx 30 in the back and all the other hardware here is missing probably my fault but you should be able to just pop this out yeah yeah look the whole front section is gone like that's all melted and i got a whole new piece here so look at the difference yeah this is a no-brainer i gotta put this in like the whole thing is there so this whole section isn't even here and then the front there is it's all melted and messed up. That's still there. 
Yeah, it's not as bad as the other side. The other side was completely gone. So let's put this in. Same principle. Just gotta finesse it in there, really. Slide it in. And then, you know, it's a little hard to do with one hand, but basically you wanna get it in place up here. There's a hole right there. Basically wanna get this in place first and then everything else basically lines up. It just makes it a whole lot easier. You're good to go. Passenger side done. This is so much better, guys. Like, there's basically no, this is the only section right here next to the bumper that actually has a little like gap that maybe water would get into. But besides that, it's sealed all the way around. Even here, behind this is the new lower fender. Over here is good too. Just this section right here, so. This side is definitely a lot better. All the hardware is in and secured, and we're good to go. If you found this video helpful, guys, do me a huge favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend if they run into something like this too. And maybe next time I'll do the whole fender liner, the top portion, when I get enough money. Thanks, guys. Peace.